Morgan. I was born and reared on the Falls Road in a place called the Lower Wark. This is my tape recorder. I use it to record Radio Free Belfast programs from behind the barricades in the 1960s. With Anderson Mills and Robin Beatty have returned from their campaign in the United States to hide the facts in Northern Ireland. One of my friends gave me an old tape recorder and I fixed it. Got it up and running. Because I needed a tape recorder for my music. I used to play in the band. Use it then for my practices. And also recording from the radio. All the 60s hits. You weren't allowed to go to your area. It was too dangerous. So you stayed there. But I had the guitar to keep me company. And my tape recorder. And just one day I was trying to tune in Radio Luxembourg or some of these stations. And Belfast voices come on. We are controlling our own lives. Neither the military nor the RUC may enter our... This is like sort of inside information from people who are vigilante and walking around the place, finding out what was wrong. The station then put it on the broadcast from behind the barricades. They also had other requests for weddings to play certain songs for We Dally, We Mary, and all this carry on. It's good crack. When they would have seen the army raving, they were able to broadcast it to the people. They locked the barricades because the army's coming to, to raid the house. You know, I think it's most important to remember these and respect these memories. Absolutely. Remember that the free areas belong to the people who live in them. Your opinion when I listen back to those recordings now, I still find them very entertaining. And to be honest, I, when I listen to it, I think I'm still in the 60s. Sincerely believe I'm still there. <laughs>